Hey there Lego fans, just thought I'd show off my new shelf. Um, I just got this today from uh, Argos. Um, it's meant for a garage, you know, it's a heavy duty uh, storage unit. But I thought it looks good just to keep my Lego on. It's very sturdy and uh, just helps keep the room um, a lot tidier. Um, I've built a lot more sets that were in um, in these uh, in these boxes um, since my last video. Um, I built uh, what's that? A 2002 Republic gunship. Uh, it's quite heavily sun damaged, which is a bit annoying. But um, what I have done is I've ordered a five liter um, carton of um, hydrogen peroxide, and I've got like um, a UV light for like teeth whitening that I'm going to use just to. Uh, it's winter here so um it's not gonna work putting them outside there's virtually no sun so i'm gonna stick i can't really see it on camera but it's pr pretty yellow the stickers are gone as well i'm gonna get a new packet of replica stickers um i don't have all the figures with this um sadly or the box um i'm not sure where the box is i don't remember chucking it out but um it might be in the attic somewhere but i definitely sold all the clones that went with it um i just thought they were a little bit yellowed and they were dated as well, like I prefer the new Clone Wars version, so I'll just stick them in there if I, uh, if it worse comes to worse. But um, I've got the Super Battle Droids, the blue ones, um, they are super glued, um, they're in my little uh, minifigure uh, collection. And I've got Jedi Bob as well, he's there still, and the Destroyer Droid, you can easily build them out of pieces, so no issue there. Um, can't remember who else comes with it, I think that's it. But um, yeah, so there's that, and so, uh, Droid Cannon. Um, it's from the Clone Wars, I believe. I've got a Bounty Hunter Pursuit. Annoyingly as well, I sold the figures for these. Um, quite rare as well, which is really annoying. And Anakin and Obi-Wan, not so much, but Zamwa sold, yeah. She's like 25 quid minimum on eBay just for the figure. And that's for like a play-worn one with a bit of fading or the wrong legs. Uh, slave one over there. Um, that's 99% complete. I'm just missing the wing on the other side. I'm going to order that off Bricklink. And I believe there's a yellow thing on the other side missing as well. Oh, and a grey door instead of white. But other than that, yeah, there's only a three or four parts missing. Built that up from scratch. Um, same with Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter. That's 99% complete. The only thing missing is um, the tail fin. Annoyingly, it's not just a plain white flag like you get on um, the later ones. It is a printed piece. So probably be a little bit expensive than, a, you know, just a plain ordinary one. That's what I liked about the 2002 sets, that everything came printed, like, which is weird because the gunship didn't. Every other set from the 2002 range come with special printed parts like the um, Republic logo. Um, look at that, all down the front of the Starfighter. The same on Zam's Speeder, the same on um, Anakin's Yellow One and on Slave One. And then the gunship, the most expensive set. Um, from that year had all stickers like what's all that about it was only the Republic logo There wasn't a sticker so hmm Don't know what they were thinking there, but yeah <laughs> but Everything else nowadays tends to be a sticker. I Think that one is from 2005. So that was still a uh, on the attack pod That was still a printed piece, but then afterwards the ATT was a sticker from 2008 or 9 I think that came out so a little bit annoying, the stickers do tend to, it's really dusty this set. I think the stickers are okay, don't seem to be uh, peeling, not yet anyway. <laughs> yeah, you got some 2005 sets then on the next shelf up. We've got a uh, droid tri-fighters, so we've got two of those. Two, um, oh, what are they called? Um, can't remember, a vulture droids, two of those. They come from the pack with Anakin Starfighter, still haven't built that yet, but do have all the pieces. Two Arc 170s, got four of these, got one smashed to bits completely, another one half built. Um, so yeah, they're, they're alright with it. The 2013 Gunship again, my favourite set. Just got it up on the stands just to give a little bit more space. Um, let's go through the figures, everyone likes figures, especially the clones. Got a Commander Cody, uh, the Chinese version. Looks great on camera, you really can't tell the difference. So yeah, you got him with the airborne troopers and then the uh, episode three star armor on the standard clones. 501st Legion from the latest battle pack with blue arms added. Oh, and the jet trooper, where's he? He's at the back there, there we go. 
and then is it 330 second Ahsoka's unit um, with the orange helmet. Yeah, I thought they were 501st to be honest. They just I thought a few of them just painted their helmets orange, but apparently it's a completely different legion. I haven't changed him to blue arms. I thought that because he's got a lot of colour on him already, it might be a bit too much, and he'll be more blue and orange than he is white. So I've left him for now. Might change his hit piece though, or his belt to black. I think that could look nice. And we've got the Mandalorian battle pack here. I've only just opened this. I did for my birthday, so I've stuck them on a plate. Quite bright and colourful these are. We've got Yoda in the episode uh, two clone trooper from the Clone Wars with the rocket battle droid arms. That's from the AT AAT set. Uh, droid staff. That's from a, a droid battle pack from 2007. Um, yeah, I put some uh, some ropes coming down from the gunship. I was trying to replicate on Utapa when uh, Obi Wan's uh, Commander Cody unit they sort of um, abseiled down on Utapa when they try to capture General Grievous. So I think that looks pretty cool. Wouldn't mind a few more of these if I could find some. They're pretty expensive second hand. You do get another airborne trooper in the latest Grievous Starfighter, but it's it's a bit too expensive to buy a whole set for one figure and I don't think he comes with an orange arm anymore whereas this one's got one orange arm, one white. I did always like that about this figure. The new one again is too white to like the 501st with. But yeah, so let's check out the other. We've got the Commander Fox over here. Um, it's got a droid um, homing unit or something it's called, I can't remember now, spider droid, I think originally it was called, now it's called a homing spider droid. Um, got a, that's, is that a spider droid or a crab droid, something like that, I can't actually remember. We've got loads of these in different colours, I think we've got a grey one, a blue one, a brown one. We've got the um, 2008 Hailfire droid. These are quite good. They're very flimsy though. They tend to break really easily. So uh, I've lost the track off my third one, which is uh, down here. Yeah, it's missing the track, so that's a bit annoying. I've got a lot of the chain pieces, but not quite enough to go around the whole wheel. But yeah, what's on the bottom shelf? We got uh, two slave ones from 2007. You got one. The one at the back is quite sun damaged. That's why it's at the back. Um, the one in the front's pretty good though. Just a bit dusty. I rebuilt both of these. They were in a million pieces when I first uh, brought them up to the house. Uh, got the Hoth turret. Um, it's from a, not really a battle pack, it's a small set. X-Wing, Y-Wing. Um, it's a, did I make that myself or did it come with a snow speeder? I can't really remember. I think it might have come with a 1999 snow speeder. But yeah, it's sort of a, goes well with these, these anyway. But yeah. That's it, so I've got all the boxes at the top. I'm always going to display sets up here, but um, I thought they'll get really dusty right at the top. And not only that, it's a bit too high, it's above head height, so you won't really appreciate them up there. So it's good for the displaying and storing the really big boxes that just get in the way. Which is like 1999 Millennium Falcon boxes, smashed a bit, so it just keeps it nice and neat up there. Um, there it is, but there, so I've got that on the side. Got all the heads with just bits and pieces in. All these drawers are colour coded now, so grey, dark grey, black in the bottom, and brown, yellow, red, etc. All up here in the smaller drawers. Got a clone turbo tank from 2005 in there. It's smashed up by, oh, there's an X ring in there as well. But I believe all the pieces are there. Same in here, we've got um, Corporate Alliance tank droids from 2005, the oddly coloured blue and orange one. Wookie um, Catamaran, I believe there's an X-Wing in there as well, and a few other bits and bobs, another Arquan 70. Got my uh, Imperials there, Snowtroopers, uh, all my original trilogy stuff. We got a broken Zamwessel Speeder in there. Um, these are all sort of um, transparent, tiny little studs and uh, bricks keep them together and dear Republic maroon colour and then over here we've got uh, we've got Obi-Wan's blue starfighter from episode 3 unopened these are all unopened too and over here we've just got a little tray with stuff that's in sort of well I'm trying to put it back together slowly Count Dooku starfighter and a few battle packs he's another one of those spider droid things yeah and then they're all empty boxes in there 
Oh, and open the window. Two Nabu speeders. They're complete, but I don't know where the the, the people go in there. The little um Nabu. That seat is the wrong colour. It's from the later brown. Um, and I need to find the head still off Plo Koon. But other than that, yeah. It's a quick little update of my uh, Lego room with the new garage shelves in place. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. I might get another one actually when I get more sets and have it sort of on this side of the room. It's quite a small room to be honest. I don't want to cram it too full. But uh, I keep the blind permanently down just so they don't get sun damaged. So and the door closed so no UV light will be in this room at all so yeah they should stay pretty much mint condition minus a bit of dust but yeah let me know what you think any questions uh don't forget to like the channel because i will be doing more videos so yeah peace out